hands off wix will hands off daddy at this point people are just posting dumb hope threads with the hope that the guy who makes youtube videos on this thread will read it out live put me in the mr burrito slayer reading video diddy i mean polarium no I don't like it when whales try to speak for the community. They not like us. BBL Drizzy. I didn't do the Wixbow Fusion back then, so I spent a major amount of shards until I finally pulled them in the last progressive. I had roughly five minutes to celebrate, looked them up on YouTube. That's when I found out the plan nerfed. CCs are losing touch with the average player. Y'all make a living off the game. We don't make a living off of the game, by the way. Unless you're probably really big like Ash or Hell Hades. Tell us how fusions are exhausting. Brother, you do dungeon divers overnight with your bot energy. Everyone repeat after me. Demon Lord has no clash, so killing Wixpool teams is a pure, straight attack to free to play. There is no reason for Polarium to change it. I had to wait a bit before letting this one out. This is a video talking about the potential Wixpool nerf, and this is going to be a long one. I don't know anything about the nerf. I've seen some comments, but I haven't really delved into it. I'm going to go over the community post on my channel, some YouTube comments, and other people's um, YouTube videos talking about Wixwell, and of course, as always, the Reddit posts. This is not me speculating or stating anything. I'm just simply reacting to my findings. I would remind you guys to not listen to CCs all the time. I tell you guys this all the time. Unless you hear it directly from Polarium and they're confirming it, it's going to be speculation, right? And just like you guys like to point out, it's all for the clicks and the views. I've got nothing wrong with that. When you understand that you can think for yourself, take in the information and then make a decision, you can choose what to do with that. Take what I'm saying, for an example, with a grain of salt, right? I'm not stating anything, just looking over things, anything in this game that isn't directly confirmed by Polarium. Even sometimes I feel like they backpedal on their words. It, it can be taken and reframed over and over again, and it could incite an uproar when nothing has actually been confirmed yet. Like we don't know the specifics or if this is going to be done in the way that we think that it might be done, right? So I'm just saying uh, all that as a disclaimer. You ever do that thing in class where you're like, all right, whisper something to your classmate next to you, and then we'll see if, if the same message that I started is the same message that gets uh, circled around back. Or it's like when you translate something over and over again, like a different language. I don't know who came out with the first video. I don't watch other content creators. Apparently, to my understanding, there was a leak about some code for Wixwell and some type of potential nerf. Where's Tormin? And so what we're going to do is take a look. Why did you leave? I asked you guys, are you going to quit? Some of you guys said yes, but most of you guys said no, you'll live. I personally think Raid just needs to take a TCG, trading card game approach. If something is overtuned and ruining the game, just ban it from where it's broken. So if Wixwell is broken in Hydra, just ban it from being used in Hydra. But, you know, saying that out loud presents another set of issues. Basically, nothing is going to be okay, no matter what Polarium does, if it's any type of nerf or if anybody can perceive it as any type of nerf in any form or fashion. Still playable somewhere, but one area it's broken, super simple fix, takes care of all Hydra Clash issues without nerfs. I think it's a pretty good approach. I really liked it. I would quit, not because they nerf Wixwell, but because they won't touch Trunda. I don't have Wixwell. Anyway, people play the game regardless of what Polarium does. That's true. As long as we keep playing, they're going to keep doing what they want. And there is much more than Wixwell out there. Yeah, a lot of other things. Not a good move from Polarium's side still. I'm personally in favor of a nerf, but there needs to be consistency across the board when choosing which champions get nerfed. And also, the nerf shouldn't completely obliterate him. Kind of like the 50 turn count to revive on death, block damage on killable that was implemented with the clan boss. The fact that I see a content creator that struggles with Nether Spider, but can do 300 million on clan boss shows how badly Wix needs a nerf. It trivializes any clan boss and any plans for future clan boss content that may come. Yeah, this is a huge thing, and I don't know what content creator this is specifically, but I think that's interesting that, yeah, somebody's doing 300 million in, in clan boss, but struggling with Nether Spider. Hell Hades' channel is in a whirlwind with this supposed nerf, LOL. They have Hell Hades saying they're going to nerf him, and the other guy saying it's not a nerf to him, but a direct nerf to the shield cap in general. What a shit show from Polarium. And actually, we are going to be looking at Hell Hades' comments after this. I don't personally care, but I advocate to be consistent. If they fix Wixville, they have to fix Trunda too. He uses Trunda. I'm personally somebody who uses and abuses Trunda. I don't have the champ. I skip the fusion. I can beat all content without him. That's that's really good. I was talking to some guys in my server about it, but I'm sure they're only nerfing Wixwell because he was free, aka fusion. So more people have him. Similar reasons to Madman and Corpulent Cadaver nerfs. They make more money with exclusive champs being broken, i.e. Trunda. It's less profitable 
for the majority of players to put up huge numbers. You know what? I hope they don't nerf Thor. I'm really enjoying him. I haven't played with him to his full extent yet, but he's such a fun champion. I've got no problem with nerfs as long as they're warranted. Wixville shouldn't have an Infinity Shield growth ability that's simple, but I do take issue with their selective process. There are many champions in need of nerfs. If you look at the insane PvE damage, that's one place to start. The other is pick win rates in PvP. Just bothers me that Armands and Trunda are untouchable, but God forbid Wixwell is broken for one area of the game. That's true. They're not touching Armands. They're not trying to fix Trunda. They, <laughs> I don't think they're going to. That's their cash cow right there. Armands and Trunda, right? Especially Trunda. They should not touch Wixwell at all, considering it's a community champ. That's true. Wixwell was a community champ. They asked the community to vote on the skills and was released after being playtested by CCs and devs multiple times. But if they do it, they will make this champ useless and shield comps in general worthless. Plus, they dare to shadow nerf him, but not Trunda or Armands. Shameless. If it happens, it's just another way to say that only whales can break the game. Feels unfair, but again, like I said right here, it's nothing new. It's maybe an unpopular opinion, but this team is essentially an exploit team and shouldn't exist in the first place. But I think absolutely the same about Trunda teams. I think it's a bigger exploit and should be ha uh, should have been fixed a long time ago. That's why it's unfair. If you're going to fix an exploit, fix all of them, not just the one that's most accessible to most people. Wix, Trunda, Armands all need nerfs, and those three champions control a major part of the game, and three champions in a game with hundreds should never absolutely dominate an area far more than any other champ. They should make lasting changes to Hydra interactions rather than reactive nerfs to one champion or interaction. It's for the health of the game. I don't care if they do or don't, but if they nerf shield comps without touching Trunda, there's going to be some outrage. You know what they can nerf? The 3% thing. I hate that and wish it wasn't part of the game. In general, they should change the champions more, nerf the ones that need it because they shine too much and erase others, and buff the ones that don't even seem to exist. I don't care, they need to be consistent. Champs aren't meant to break games, but they're fun to use while we get away with it. True. I don't have them, I don't care. Brogni got nerfed for similar reasons. Why are people so shocked? That's right. Just when I got Odin and could have made the perfect Wixwell team, all I needed was to farm the reflex gear. To be honest, they're just messing with us. All the drama is newer players experiencing the same stuff we've been through a dozen times over the All the drama is newer players experiencing the same stuff we've been through a dozen times over the years. Exactly. Just like I said, Raid is a little freak off without the oil. <laughs> Diddy. I mean, Polarium, no. If it's just capping the shield growth, to not get too crazy, then I don't care. I wasn't using that anyway. I don't think they will nerf Wixpool, but I can definitely see how infinite shield growth is too strong and not good for the game. In the long run, maybe it will ruin their next big piece of content, so they're trying to figure out a way around it. If they do nerf Wixpool, I hope that he can still one key for those who need it. Hopefully, they don't go too far like they did with Corpulent Cadaver. I think that it's not a good look if they nerf what was an attainable champion, in this case a fusion. I don't have them but I respect the free to plays that sacrifice for him. Let's be real, this change isn't affecting the whale community too much. That's true. It's only the free to plays crying, but seriously, they need to stop Yumiko resetting another Yumiko. Other resetters can't do that. Trunda is not the problem. Also, if you depend on Wixpell, get good. I think Polarium responded to this. Double Yumiko Hydra things? I think they basically said, oh, because Yumiko's a void legendary, she's hard to get. So basically, <laughs> they're like, we're not touching that because money. Call me a sadist, but I would love to see those newbie players failing to do 200 million damage with whatever champ and Wixpell. Sorry, guys, I also missed the fusion. I don't use the team, but my three teams can put up nine bill. Nothing crazy, but I'll live without him. I would quit if I had Wixpell. Clan boss takes a long time time to sort out. If people quit it, I won't be surprised. Damn Polarium realized that the purchase of Lego books and shards have dropped significantly since the release of him. Then this is pretty interesting to, to point out. I don't think anybody really stopped to think about this, but yeah. For those wondering why they aren't touching Trenda and Armand's, it's because it doesn't affect the sales of items for the shop. This one's what I'm going to quit now if they don't nerf Wixwell. I'm going to add to the pressure. So I regret ever spending a dollar on Raid because now I feel invested in a toxic relationship. Players figure out how to do great in one area of the game legitimately. And so the developers say, no, you guys aren't allowed to win too much. I can't think of anywhere else that that type of action is okay. I'm looking for a battered gamer shelter. Well, seriously though, 
This game would be a lot better if sold to a company not strictly motivated by profit. Trenda, Mariska, and Taurus are working as intended. The champ's been out for six months. That's why we're upset. How many people have brought up Valerie's or Anchorites or whatever just for the comp? They've had Infinity Team comps since the week Wix build was released. Literally, they wrote the code. They knew how it works. So now after six months of people working around this, now they nerf? After multiple progressive chances, events, including an event that was literally live while they slipped in, but didn't activate the code to nerf him i mean literally wtf if they have nerfed him week one people would be moderately annoyed at worst but six months later is ridiculous why nerf wixwell before trunda if we're talking about the competitive side of the pve format trunda has been a problem that is still not being acknowledged far longer than hydro clash's existence how about polarium leaving the ukraine twins untouched and them owning arena when they were completely op at the time People wanted a nerf and nothing was done. The community picks a champ that's more popular and all of a sudden they lose their minds. That's the problem you fail to understand. A lot of people spent money on Wixpell and if they nerf him, that would be wrong. Just nerf Wixpell for Hydra, not Demon Lord, but if you are going to do that, do it to Trunda as well. How can anyone have fun when half the modes in the game are pay to win PvP modes? Hydra Clash needs to go away. If they break my clan boss team, I'll quit raid. I don't care about Hydra. For Polarium, everything's about money, not balance issues. See Trunda Yumiko, their analytics have shown that since Wixpell, the low and mid spenders are spending less money on the game that's what i'm guessing i didn't do the wixball fusion back then so i spent a major amount of shards until i finally pulled them in the last progressive i had roughly five minutes to celebrate to get a cup of tea looked them up on youtube that's when i found out the plan nerf god damn i don't like it when whales try to speak for the community they not like us bbl drizzy not speaking about hell Hades specifically but the majority of whales are out of touch making teams like that is not easy i have the majority of champions to make a crazy good team or crazy good teams but i don't have the gear ascending materials nor the time to do any of it when regular people get the chance to finally contribute to their clans or achieving goals for the game the whales are like i spent so much money and time and i'm not winning needs nerfs Welcome to Raid. It's okay when the whales do it. It's not okay when regular people start doing it. If they nerf Wixwell, they need to nerf every problem champ in Hydra. No exceptions. So annoying. I guess we get the Thor nerf next month. I hope not. I hope not. They sold us Wixwell with a community event. We use resources to build them. Long-term players will always have an inherent advantage over new players. In competition, there are winners and losers. CCs are losing touch with the average player. Y'all make a living off the game. We don't make a living off the game, by the way. We do not. I am an anti-nerf as a concept. We don't make a lot of money off of YouTube and Polarium doesn't pay us, guys. It's always funny to see whale CCs tell us how fusions are exhausting. Brother, you do dungeon divers overnight with your bot energy, shard pulls and bot shards, champ training with brews you get as a CC. The only actual effort you put into fusions in, are in classic arena. All right, Boozer came out with a post. More Wixville shield clarification and speculation. Hi, everyone. Just wanted to share more details that might help everybody come to some conclusions about the whole Wixville situation. Below are some notes referring to a conversation we had with the Polarium uh, con community man uh, manager video form at the bottom. I'm careful to not directly quote too much as requested, but I've paraphrased and included key bits. Keep this. Um, keep in mind, this is all up for interpretation. Nothing is official news unless it's coming from Polarium and things can change quickly. That's true. And even like I said, they can backpedal. Shield cap multiplier equals four. Don't know what that means. Don't like commenting on data mined info. Basically anything that's data mined that's not official uh, like I said in the beginning, uh, take it with a grain of salt because you just never know what they might do with that code or how it's supposed to be interpreted or presented. It could be misconstrued. No secret Wixwell nerf coming when released. List of changes coming to balance. Hydra Clash and Hydra specifically. Champions or other mechanics will be reba uh, rebalanced, will be announced closer to implementation. Extensive testing delaying implementation. Who's testing? Substantial rework of Hydra that will affect many teams. Uh, I think this might mean Trunda and Yumiko. I feel like every opinion on this topic was already shared before we even knew what will be the exact nerf and when it would happen. I just hope the changes do not ruin clan boss teams and only affect Hydra. I appreciate this. There's a lot of misinformation and wild speculation floating around. I just hope the changes won't affect clan boss and don't care about Hydra. Whatever they do, I hope it's only going to affect Hydra and it's not going to ruin anybody's CB teams. That would be really, uh, that would really be a kick to the nuts. I think there's too much speculation and not enough facts. 
The guy who made this post is part of the content creator program and a Reddit mod who has two direct channels to Polarium community managers. Saf, who is a boss and an absolute pillar in the Raid Shadow Legends community, does not have the same access to information and he is neither. They don't like us understanding how code in Champions work. Shocker. Software code is individual property. No one will share it unless the company decides to be open source. So much cope. The changes to character skills will be game wide whether we like it or not. I hope he gets nerfed. I don't have him or Trenda so it's not fun seeing two champions absolutely dominate areas of the game. <laughs> Fix Hydra to destroy Clan Boss. Congrats, Polarium. This guy says Wixwell nerf is deeper. Let's be real. Clan Boss is a total pain in the ass. In most other games, bosses like this are easier to beat. Here, it's the main roadblock, especially for free to players. The only reliable way to get shards and progress, yet it feels unnecessarily difficult. If they decide to nerf Wixwell, it's going to hurt everyone. Not everybody. Clan Boss needs to be balanced. It shouldn't be this brutal grind that pushes players away, especially when it's the key to progression. I am completely against any changes to Wixwell. Wixwell and will quit the game if they nerf him in such a way that I have to go back to my two key ultra nightmare team even though I have every champion I would need to now build another one key unkillable block damage team however I couldn't disagree more about your statement that clan boss is too hard with the power creep clan boss has become an early game objective that can be achieved around six months free to play I agree I believe that this is one of the big issues of Polarium. Every new content they introduce has underwhelming rewards in comparison to clan boss rewards per difficulty. The first issue I have with a potential nerf is that the game is about progressing your account by building new champions and teams. Randomly regressing many accounts progress because Polarium changed a champion introduced months ago and is just not good for many players' enjoyment of the game. The other big issue, the best way to clear most content of Raid is by building teams that avoid or play around the boss's mechanics and could be considered like cheese infinity comps. And then he lists all these things here. Deciding that a shield grown faster than it takes damage is cheesing, but that staying permanently under unkillable or block damage buff is fine, is totally arbitrary. Even without Wixwill, Clan Boss is an absolute joke compared to what it used to be. There's been so much stat and champ skill bloat, UNM is basically anim at this point. If people could figure out how to build UNM teams with a third of the resources back in the day, current players will be fine, especially since they got a free pass to cheese farm UNM for six months without ever actually progressing to that point. I've yet to see a truly compelling reason to support the nerf. All the comments in this thread are basically, back in my day, it was hard. Is that really the reason people are supporting Polarium screwing over players? Tons of things have made this game easier today than it was in the past. And the stupid thing is, it doesn't even negatively impact the longer term players. They benefit from the same thing that is helping newer players and they still have stronger accounts. It's really interesting to see people in this sub try to sell this nerf with such a weak take. A champ that allows you to ignore boss mechanics completely should be looked at. Designing new bosses to work around an infinity shield could also negatively affect other champions. CB Wix teams, low effort, low gear requirement, basically zero speed tuning. Hydra Wix teams, literal cheese teams that destroy every team except Trunda. Nerfing Wix, fixing Trunda, and fixing Armands is better for the health of the game. Now I have to build a normal clan boss Hydra team isn't an argument. They're butthurt that they had to go through all the hassle for a team combo unkillable, so Polarium nerfed them and they struggled for two years to do a CB team. Now they want everybody to feel their pain, then to just leave it and let them play at a later point. He's responding to, it's going to hurt everyone. Everyone is a massive stretch. A lot of people don't use Wixpill in clan boss or anywhere really. In my clan, I see one guy that is using it. He probably has other options for sure. Most people use either Double Man Eater or Demitha. For me, Wixpill is, was the best solution to beat clan boss this year. What's your opinion on the potential Wixpill nerfs? Personally, this guy doesn't care. He was no problem for half a year. Now he's become a problem. Why? Because Trenda's doing crazy things for years and yet no nerf. He's been a problem ever since Yannicka pair took off. They should nerf Trenda as well, absolutely. I'm at the point where I've lost interest to play, but still play 20 to 30 minutes out of habit. I don't care about Hydra, but, but destroying people's clan boss teams is awful. It's plain to see. Trenda Yumiko teams make the money, free to play teams don't. Which I would not have a problem with if we weren't all thrown into the mix of free to play players playing against a clan of pay to win. Probably a good idea to remember that nothing's actually been done in the interest of balancing anything. Everything Polarium does is predicated on eventually being able to sell you a better mousetrap. They don't like infinity teams because once X amount of the player base is able to replicate the game breaking mechanics, the revenue projections take a hit because they have a much tougher time selling you a better version of something you don't need a better version of. They've essentially said as much. 
They won't nerf Trenda teams because such a small percentage of player base is actually able to replicate that team, but since so many people have Wixwell and Yannicka, it creates a drastically different scenario from a sales point of view. Same reason they're never going to nerf any of the broken arena champs, it's better for their bottom line to just keep upping the ante and selling people a better mousetrap or at least the idea of one. Infinity teams remove the incentive for players to want to spend money. I still don't understand the problem, I'm gonna go about my day. It's fixing the problem for good, in my opinion. I invested in the Yannicka Wixwell, and I'm completely fine with it. We don't need any more of these popping up every time they add one of these shield champs. I got the Wixwell Yannicka team working once in Hydra. It's annoying to put together. It takes multiple resets, and it's annoying. Nerf him. <laughs> Guys, can we stop being rude to others and downvoting? This was supposed to be a friendly discussion. I don't have him. It's not my problem. It doesn't matter to me. This is absurd. He doesn't have game, uh, game breaking mechanics. The real problem stems from how many options you have to build teams with him in clan boss. The Wixwell nerf might be a blessing in disguise. I've been grinding this game for about four months. Never come across a more addictive game. <laughs> That's saying something. Because I, I feel that. It's so predatory, but can also be fun. That being said, if they nerf Wixwell, the game will be very easy to walk away from. My way of looking at this is a win-win situation. I'm free from Polarium's shackles. And I like this. I like this insight. You know, if, if they nerf Wixwell, screw it. I want to leave the game. I'll be free. I can go about my life and not have to spend hours and hours in raid anymore. But if they don't nerf him, then I can continue having fun. I didn't do the fusion, but nerfing him means no fusion I do is safe. Big turn off for me. That's true. Amen. Playing raid is like an abusive, toxic relationship. I quit years ago, but for whatever reason, probably Stockholm Syndrome, I hopped back earlier this year, started a new account. Only two pillars. Only two pillars keeping me in the game. It's Wixwell and RSL Helper. If these crumble, Pillarium can go to hell. I'm out. Nerfing Wixwell does not sit well with me. Dev stated a reason to nerfing shield growth is due to them not figuring out a way to fix Hydra Clash. But the issue in Hydra Clash got nothing to do with Wixwell teams, everything to do with Trunda teams. Wixwell is free to play friendly, Trunda is not. Polarium is going to consider money over community. Nerfing Wixwell is going to help many people quit the game. How exactly are they nerfing him? Capping the scaling, at least that's the coding. Uh, and again, we don't know if this is exactly what they're going to do. As of, uh, October 1st at 10.30 p.m. I, I don't think anything's been said. Just pulled him last week after skipping the fusion. I have billions of damage in Nightmare Hydra teams, Mythlu teams already, so he's essentially just icing. I mean, the fact that you're one keying UNM four months into the game because of Wixwell is exactly the problem for them. I bet they don't mind it that much on Clan Boss either. They most likely wish you actually worked on the boss, then skip its mechanics entirely. I personally don't have a problem with Clan Boss, but Hydra is outright stupid. It's again skipping the process entirely, and somebody who has no business poking around in Nightmare Hydra will suddenly do 1.5 billion or 6 billion Hydra Clash points in a single 15 minute run. Polarium's commented and said they don't have a secret plan to nerf Wixwell, however they're working on a complex <laughs> plan to balance Hydra and fix uh, Hydra Clash. And this is a good point, instead of playing the game and learning how everything works, which is what I wish a lot of people would do, because I get these questions a lot, right? How do I build this team? How do I build these champions? I wish people would just take the time to learn about some of the buffs and debuffs and the mechanics of the game and the bosses. And it's not like the videos aren't out there. Pretty much anything in the game, there is a guide for. So I wish people would just spend the time learning how to play the game rather than looking for quick cheese teams or looking for a quick way through it or looking for somebody else to basically just do it for them. At this point, people are just posting dumb shit cope threads with the hope that the guy who makes YouTube videos on this thread will read it out live. <laughs> it obviously didn't boost your account enough if you're worried that you can't hit UNM without cheesing it. You've had six months to collect champs and gear, can't build a new team. It sounds like you should quit. It's deeper than that. I paid to get Wixwell. In other words, if you went to a shop and bought a PC and a few months down the line I showed up at your door to change your operating system to, <laughs> to Windows 95 and there's nothing you can do about it, how would you feel? How would you accept it and continue on? Would you complain and never buy anything from my store again? That's not what you said. You said you would have to slowly grind up back to UNM. Don't change it now. <laughs> I hope they nerf him after reading these comments. People are acting like entitled little busies. Clan boss used to be actual meaning part of a progression in the game. Building teams was interesting and a landmark for your account. Now if you have Wixwell, it's basically a wash. If Raid nerfs the community voted champion, they nerf their own player base. It's as simple as that. Don't do it. Hands off Wixwell. Hands off, Diddy. Don't destroy a community voted champion. Are you out of your minds? Don't do it or a lot of players will quit the game. Show respect to your community. Throwing Wixwell into progressive at the end of last week was dirty practice, Playerium. Let's be honest, they've mismanaged the game by letting Trenda Armand's Ukrainian duo nonsense go for too long. 
They continue to make a problem and sell the solution. Polarium is an asshole. They deserve to go out of business. This is Polarium. We already know the nature of the beast. I gotta admit, they keep coming up with new ways to surprise us and make us have to say, hey, we gotta start preparing for this or expecting that they might do this. And it kind of sucks. But at the same time, this is going to continue. It's not going to get better. It's not going to change. Kind of just roll with the punches here. Like, go ahead, complain, and voice your concerns. I think you should. I think it's with well within your right to, again, say what you feel and feel however you want to feel. But also, like, don't let it get too serious because it is just a game at the end of the day. These points got me creasing. Since when have they ever cared what the fuck we think? We have no say, bruh. It's only about the 8th champion Polarium gets excited over, and then waits a bit, then nerfs them. Some people might say, it's not just the game, I've spent money on it. Just think about what you just said right now. Only way to fix this is to simply quit and find another game. Are we really smarter though? We keep shoveling time and money into a game when we know the devs are just here to milk us. It doesn't seem smart. Not what I meant. The player base is smarter in use of the in-game mechanics. I'll stop playing and wait for Godforge. All of the overly dramatic posts about a potential damage cap have changed my mind and made me think Polarium might be right about this one. If there's one champion that's so insane with what he does that any attempt to reduce it is met with this much reaction, it kind of proves some nerfing is necessary. I don't know how long you've played, but Polarium is notorious for leaving in unbelievably broken champions that dominate entire swaths of content, and then will immediately nerf something that allows low non-spender players, spending players a chance to not even compete. Polarium doesn't nerf to balance, they nerf to hinder players in hopes they spend more on the game. If they think it will catch ire of big spenders, they will let the game-breaking champions flourish, but it benefits- but if it benefits the low and non-spenders, fuck them. Spring. Who the fuck picks shields? Shields suck. Vote for damage. The voting is rigged. We didn't vote for that. Autumn. We put our love into voting for this champion's skills. You can't nerf those, or it will personally offend each and every one of us. Lame. I really hope the shield gets reworked. I don't fear the tiniest bit that the player base will get damaged. I know about half of the content creators are saying that those fixes are so planned on that way that you need to invest on something else to make Hydra work. And what comes then? Well, spending. Play a gacha game produced by a company that has its origins in online gambling and think they care one iota about the player base? They have years, years of algorithm data to rely on to ensure their baseline money is met. LOL, people believing a YouTube video? What's YouTube? I like how these sorts of posts always have a we speak for the community vibe to them when all the people were part of this community could get hit by a truck tomorrow and Polarium wouldn't care. You lost, you'll keep losing, you'll still play the game, Polarium won. Players must stand together if Wixwell is nerfed. Stop playing, stop spending, show Polarium that you have to stop nerfing us coming up for smart ways, with smart ways to build teams just because you want us to spend a lot of money to get the Trenda teams. Trenda team, billion damage, okay. Wixwell, Yannicka, billions of damage, not okay. Wixwell team, million, million damage, not okay. Logic by Polarium. Because Trenda was released before Hydra, they can't nerf champions that were released before Hydra that would take away from them. Look sadly at Corbett and Cadaver. Who are we kidding? They want people to spend and to try to pull that single meta champion. Nub's video on it said best, the free to play option is going to be nerfed, but the expensive option will stay because Polarium focuses on the spenders. I'm paraphrasing, but his logic is sound. Free to play players are not Polarium's focus and never will be. And I've told you guys this so many times before, Polarium doesn't care about the non or low spenders, or I should say they barely care, right? Because they only care about the Krakens that are spending thousands and thousands of dollars to line up their wallets, right? And I'm not mad about it, like I've said before, it just is what it is. But temper your expectations in terms of you wanting Polarium to care about you. As I've been saying, it's a game, roll with it. Keep your expectations very low and you'll get less stressed and less disappointed. Everyone repeat after me. Demon Lord has no clash, so killing Wixwell teams is a pure, straight attack to free to play. There is no reason for Polarium to change it. If they want to fix Hydra, change how Hydra works. Don't destroy people's clan boss teams. And I know we're reading all these comments, people saying nerf, 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 nerf. Again, I have to stop and remind you guys, we still don't know if it's an actual nerf or what exactly Polarium is going to do. Hold off on any final conclusions or decisions. Try not to get mad. Try to be objective about this and not emotionally charged. I'm 100% out. As a free-to-play player, this is the biggest slap in the face. We still don't have an official statement from Polarium. Did someone already test how it's gonna look after the nerf? So many complaints, but nothing's proven. Exactly, this right here. I run a 15 billion Hydra Clash point Wixwell team. I want Wixwell nerfed. 
It's crazy how many far superior geared and championed teams I beat in Clash. Put me in the Mr. Burrito Slayer reading video, Reddit Legion. We must stand together by continuing to play this game and pay Polarium money every month. That'll show them. <laughs> Hi everyone, two things you can do quite easily to make yourself heard aside from voicing it on forums and socials. One, stop spending money, buy something physical or book a trip, enjoy yourself rather than spending sending money to other people. Two, if on mobile, go to the app store, drop a one star review to the game. I don't think Palladium actually cares about this. Feel free to explain why. I get where this is coming from, but just like I said, Krakens, and I don't think they care about one star reviews. Honestly, who cares? <laughs> you play a pay to win game, expect nerfs if you don't pay. If you don't pay, you are food. I'll continue playing and having fun knowing the deal. You can all keep playing free to play, pretending your opinion matters. If you don't pay, you're not Polarium's customers, you are their users. Why would a for-profit corporation care about users? This guy's getting downvoted, but this dude's spitting truth. We do realize we're playing a gacha game, right? Womp womp, quit the game. Oh my god, this sub man. Hell no, I'm not going to quit. I built the Yannicka Wixpel Hydra Comp. It's only resources, we get plenty, I support them fixing the cheese. It's not so much that I'll boycott it, I just won't feel like I can play it without spending hundreds of dollars a month if I can't beat UNMCB. Let's not pretend Wixpel is the only way to beat Clan Boss. There are hundreds of other comps and players were one king long before Wixpel drop. Has anyone confirmed that this is going to break Demon Lord teams? It's going to break CB comps. How do you know? Exactly. Nothing's been set yet. I'm not saying that this is all wrong and these speculations won't come to fruition. I'm just saying we don't know yet. No, I'm not going to quit, but I'm already not giving them any money, so the difference is mostly academic. The most interesting question, and one that Polaria might actually care about, is if it accurately reflected accurately reflected reality. The more interesting question, one that Polarium might actually care about, if it accurately reflected reality, is whether you will stop giving them money as a result. However, I suspect the 1% who represent 99% of their income are not in the least bit concerned if they even notice it. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is when you're playing a slot machine masquerading as a game. Exactly. Am I in the minority for thinking that a Wixwell nerf would be healthy for the game? Too long didn't read, Wixwell teams are unhealthy and should be nerfed. No, this is a temporary fix until the next champion with similar skills come and Yannicka will be strong again. Polarium will only nerf shit that doesn't affect whales. Nerfing Wixwell without nerfing Trenda is insane. It is healthy for the game, but only if they nerf Trenda too. They just better not touch Thor. Hands off, Diddy. Diddy.